I'm Cozumel Pruitt. I am an assistant professor of pediatrics in the Division of Pediatric Nephrology at the Johns Hopkins Children's Center. And I'm excited to talk with you about our work focused on healthcare transition in adolescents and young adults with chronic kidney disease, focus on the individual and family support system. This work was published this year in the Advances in Chronic Kidney Disease Journal. Healthcare transition from pediatric to adult focused services is a longitudinal process driven by the collaboration and interactions of adolescent and young adult patients and their families, providers, healthcare agencies, and the environment. Healthcare providers in both pediatric and adult focused settings must collaborate as patients' health self management skills are acquired in the mid 20s after they have transferred to adult focused care. The importance of supporting adolescents and young adults with chronic conditions during the healthcare transition process is well recognized by many medical associations. There are several consensus statements that provide guidance and a nice framework for healthcare transition with common threads, including the team approach, which includes the patient, caregiver, family members, and health providers. While these consensus reports exist, many have recognized that providers and medical teams encounter real challenges in attempting to follow guidelines and existing frameworks. There's a conceptual model for clinical and research work that has been developed by the International and Interdisciplinary Healthcare Transition Research Consortium. And this divides the healthcare transition into four domains, individual, family and social support, healthcare system, and environment. This model also illustrates the dynamic interplay between pediatric and adult focused providers that's required to implement interventions and continue communications. Our manuscript discusses the individual and family support systems as they relate to adolescents and young adults with chronic or end stage kidney disease. In the individual domain, we discuss demographic and socioeconomic characteristics, disease complexity and disease course, cognitive capabilities, and self-management and self-advocacy. In the family domain, we discuss family composition and cultural factors, family function, parenting style, and family unit factors. We provide a section dedicated to patients with cognitive and developmental disability, and include a nice flow chart highlighting the important stages of healthcare transition preparation. Furthermore, we discuss barriers for healthcare transition preparation, and offer very practical solutions, as well as activities for the preparation of healthcare transition. This table highlights common barriers at both the individual and family level and provides practical solutions to overcoming these barriers. In summary, the ability of adolescents and young adults with chronic kidney disease to develop suitable self-management skills is influenced by modifiable and non-modifiable factors that we as healthcare providers truly need to understand in order to personalize each patient's healthcare transition preparation. Family structure and dynamics greatly influence patients' progress towards becoming self-reliant young adults and understanding these interactions can enable us as providers to better support our patients as they move on from pediatric to adult focused services. I would like to thank our collaborators on this work and we wish to thank the patients and families for sharing their experiences with us, as these have truly shaped our understanding and role in the healthcare transition journey. Thank you.